Hi, Greenheart community, and welcome to today's episode of Greenheart at Home. My name is Miss Allie, and I'm the Greenheart Project's Farm to School Program Coordinator and one of our garden educators. Today in our lesson, we're going to work together to make some fruit, veggie, and herb-flavored water to make hydration a little more fun and to try some cool, refreshing water recipes for the summer. Now, before we get started with our lesson today, we're going to review the three Greenheart rules of respect that we practice in every Greenheart lesson. The first thing that we respect in Greenheart is that we respect ourselves. In my lesson today, I'm going to be using a knife and other culinary materials, so I'm going to respect myself by being careful with these tools and using them correctly. The second thing that we respect in Greenheart is we respect our Greenheart buddies. In this lesson today, I'm cooking and making this recipe by myself, but a great way to show respect for buddies if I was working with someone else is to be careful with my body, practice self-control, listen, and practice teamwork. And the third thing that we respect in Greenheart is we respect the earth. Today, as I work in my kitchen, I'm going to practice respect for the earth by composting my leftover food scraps and by making sure that I clean up after myself and don't leave my kitchen a mess. For our lesson today, you'll need water and some fresh fruits, veggies, or herbs to use to flavor your water. Now, the produce that you choose can be fresh or frozen, either works, and there's a wide variety of different recipes you can make with different fruits and vegetables. The great thing about this recipe that we're going to work on today is it's super simple and you can really make flavored water with so many different kinds of fruits and vegetables. For my recipe today, I'm going to go out to our Green Heart Garden at Grow Food Carolina to gather some herbs and fruits to use in my water recipes. Alright buddy, so I'm out in the garden and the first thing that I'm going to collect is some basil. So the way that I harvest this is you go down to the stem, snap it off, and collect it into a harvest bag. You'll see that some of it's flowering, so I want to look for the ones that are just the green leaves. Go to the stem, snap it off, and collect. The next thing I'm going to harvest from the Green Heart Garden for our water today is some strawberries. So here you'll see the leaves of our strawberry plants that are really dense, so we need to look carefully to find some ripe strawberries. So right here you'll see a ripe strawberry that's bright red so we know it's ready to eat. There's actually two of them and then there's one that's not quite ready and one that's still growing but these are the ones that we want. So to harvest these correctly I'm going to go down and find the berry that I want to pick. I'm going to carefully grab it above its leaves at the end of the stem and pop, pull it off using some strength to grab the strawberry. So carefully grab it above the leaves, rip it off gently, and collect and gather. So I spent about 20 minutes harvesting and look at all these strawberries that I was able to collect. And last but not least, I'm going to go into our pollinator bed and harvest some cilantro, which is an herb. So I'm going to find my cilantro, which looks just like this. I'm going to go down towards the base of the stem, and I'm going to rip off a whole sprig of it to use in my water today. Now, before we get started with our lesson today, let's review why it's important for us to drink water. So 60% of the human body is made up of water. As you'll see in this picture, that's a big percentage of our body. Because so much of our body is water, it's super important that we drink enough water and stay hydrated to keep us healthy and keep our body functioning. Some of the benefits of drinking water or staying hydrated are that water helps our bodies to clean itself of toxins and waste. Another benefit of drinking water is that it can help to improve your mood, making you happier and feel better. Another benefit of drinking water is that it can help prevent headaches. If you're dehydrated, you might get really bad headaches, whereas if you drink water, it'll help to prevent this from happening. Another benefit of water is that it helps to promote healthy skin. It helps to smooth your digestion, which means that when you eat lots of food, it helps your body to process the food that you're eating and get all those nutrients out to your, the rest of your body. Another benefit of water is that it helps to fight fatigue, meaning that it'll keep you from getting tired. Water also helps to boost your kidney function, which is an important organ in your body that helps to filter blood and get rid of waste. Another benefit of water is it helps to regulate your body temperature, so when it's really hot out, water helps to cool you down, 
but it also allows your body to stay at the right temperature to function properly. Finally, water also is beneficial because it helps to increase your energy. So whether you're out running around, you're in the classroom learning, or being active in your day-to-day -day life, water is important to make sure you have all the energy you need for whatever activity that you're doing. All right, so now that we've reviewed why water is so important for keeping our body healthy, let's get started on our flavored water recipes. Today, I'm gonna to be making three different recipes. Before we do anything in the kitchen, it's important that we wash our hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds to make sure our hands are clean of germs. So the first recipe that we're gonna to put together today is our strawberry basil spritzer. This can be made with either regular water or sparkling water, depending on which one you have at home. So, as you can imagine from the name of our recipe, the two main ingredients that are going to be in our water today are strawberries, which you'll remember that I harvested fresh from our green hearth garden, and I actually froze these ahead of time so it would make my water a little bit colder. And the second ingredient is our basil, which I also harvested from the green hearth garden. Now, I washed both of these ahead of time, but it's important to remember that if you have freshly grown fruits or vegetables or just bought them from the store, you want to make sure to rinse them off and clean them before you use them in a recipe. All right, so now that we have our two main ingredients, I also pulled out a knife and a cutting board to slice up my basil. If you don't have a knife and a cutting board, that's totally fine because you can just use your fingers to rip apart the basil leaves, but I'm gonna show you how to cut this using proper knife technique. The first thing we're gonna do is prepare our basil. I'm gonna take a few of these leaves that I have harvested and stack them up in a pile and set them down on my cutting board. I'm going to practice my bear claw, putting my fingers carefully onto the leaf, taking my knife and my cutting board, and slicing through the leaf into some smaller pieces. Now, I always want to be looking at the cutting board as I cut. And again, if you don't have a knife, you can just rip this apart with your fingers and it'll do the exact same job. So now that I've got my pile of basil that's been cut, I'm going to put it off to the side because it's ready to put into my recipe. The next step is getting my strawberries ready. Since mine are frozen, I am not going to cut them. I'm just going to put them in as a full chunk of berries into my water cup. So mine are good to go. If you have fresh strawberries that you want to cut into smaller pieces, you'll use your safe knife skills to cut them up into smaller pieces. So next, we're going to combine them all into a cup. So I have my cup here. I'm gonna put some water in because that obviously is the main ingredient in our recipe. I'm gonna leave a little bit of room so that when it's ready to go, I can put in some ice to cool it down. But then I'm gonna take my basil, put it in, take my frozen strawberries and place a few of those into my cup as well. And then I'm gonna use my knife to gently stir it around and get all those flavors mixed. If you have a spoon, that's a good option too. I just forgot to grab one, so I'm gonna use what I have available. Whenever we're using our knife, we wanna be really careful. And when we're finished, we set it down carefully on the table. So now that my water has its strawberry and basil in it, I'm gonna put this into the fridge. As my water sits in the fridge, it's gonna allow all of these flavors from the basil and strawberry to diffuse into my water and make it really flavorful. I'm gonna leave it in my fridge for probably about an hour to really let all those flavors soak in. So the second water recipe that we're gonna be making is a summer citrus strawberry water. So for this recipe, I'm gonna be using, again, some strawberries fresh from the Green Heart Garden, and I have an orange and a lemon to use in this recipe. If you had other fruits like lime or pineapple or mango, those would all be delicious additions to this drink as well. So the first thing I'm gonna prepare is I'm gonna peel my orange. I'm gonna use my fingernail to gently start to peel off the skin, which I'm gonna save off to the side for me to compost. So this will go into our compost bin and get turned back into soil that we can grow more fruit with, which is great. So then once it's all peeled, just like this, I'm gonna go ahead and break it apart into smaller pieces to put into my water. So I'm gonna make a little pile here and might take a little snack because I love these oranges so much. 
mm, this is gonna be a tasty one to prepare is my lemon so just like we did with the basil i'm gonna grab a knife and i'm gonna use my bear claw to very carefully cut in to the lemon and cut it in half now once this is cut in half this is a lot of lemon so i'm gonna save half for later and then i'm gonna place it flat use my bear claw and cut it in half again so that I have about a quarter of a lemon to put into my drink and then a quarter to put on the side. All right, so now that I have my strawberries, my orange, and my lemon ready to go, I'm gonna grab my cup, fill it up with some water. Again, leaving some space because I might wanna put some ice in it later. And then I'm gonna start to put in my ingredients. So I'm going to take a chunk of my strawberries drop those right in. They're going to float because they're frozen at the moment. I'm going to take some of my little orange slices and put those right in with my strawberries. And then I'm going to take my lemon and squeeze it to get all the juices out. Now I'm noticing, if you look closely, there are some seeds in here. So I'm going to quickly take use my finger to just pull out as many seeds as I can to make sure that they don't get into my drink. And I'll teach you a little trick to make sure that you don't, if there are any left in there, they won't fall in. Put your hand over your cup. Again, you wanna make sure this hand is washed because you want it to stay clean. And you're gonna squeeze the lemon juice into your, in the lines of your fingers. If there are any seeds, you'll catch them in your hand and be able to remove them from your drink. So I'm gonna keep squeezing my lemon to get those lemon juices in. And then again, I'm gonna take my knife, I'm gonna give it a little mix to get all those flavors around. And then I'm gonna put it into the fridge to soak up some flavor. All right, so now that our two other waters are in the fridge, we're gonna make our third flavored water recipe, which is going to be a cucumber, lemon, and cilantro flavored water. This cilantro, which is an herb, grew right in our green heart gardens, and I'm gonna to get to use it today in this water recipe, which is really exciting. So the first thing that I'm gonna prepare for my recipe today is I'm gonna take a stem of the cilantro that I harvested from our garden, so it'll look just like this. We have the leaves and the stem, and I'm going to, it's been rinsed and washed, and so I'm gonna peel off the leaves from the cilantro stem. So I'm gonna carefully just work to take all the leaves off of the stem and gather them up in a little pile that I can use in my water. So I'm gonna to work to get all the leaves off and you'll notice that all that's left is the stem which we can compost. So I got my cilantro in a pile and. If I wanted a little more, I could definitely prepare some more. I'm just gonna use this little amount because I think it'll be just right for my cup that I'm using. The second thing that I'm gonna prepare is my cucumber. So this is just a little part of the much bigger cucumber. So I'm gonna use my bear claw and my knife to cut thin slices of cucumber to use in my recipe. You'll notice that I'm focused on what I'm cutting and trying to make the slices nice and thin. And so as I get towards the end, I'm gonna go ahead and compost the end of my cucumber and I'm gonna stack these up in a pile so that they're ready to be used. I'm also gonna go ahead and cut them in half just to make them a little bit smaller in my cup. So I'm gonna set these off to the side, ready to use for later. And the final thing, just like we did with our last recipe, we're gonna prepare our lemon. So I use the other half of the lemon which was the one I just used for the other water recipe. And I'm gonna cut this one in half to use about a quarter, just like I did for the last one, for this recipe. So I'm gonna take my lemon, I'm gonna set it down, and put this off to the side to use on the side of my cup for when it's ready to drink. So now that I have all three of my ingredients, we're ready to mix them together. So I'm going to grab another cup, I'm going to fill it, with what's left of my water. And this one's a little less full and that's okay. I can just put some ice into it when it's done or top it off with some more water before I go put it in the fridge. So I'm gonna take my 
cucumbers. And I'm going to carefully set them in. Remember, we don't want to make a mess, so bring them nice and close and don't make, make sure they don't splash all over. Take my cilantro and I'm going to sprinkle, kind of break it apart a little bit more as I put it into my cup. And then I'm going to take my lemon. And this one looks like there's not too many seeds in it, which is exciting. So I won't have to use my hand to block it. But get that seed out and then I'm going to squeeze my lemon. So you'll see as I do this, there's juices coming out that's going to give it a really yummy tart flavor. So we got that. All right, so our lemon has been put in. Again, I'm going to take my knife, give it a little stir to get all those flavors mixing around. And then I'm going to put this in the fridge with my other juices to let them absorb flavor. So we talked about why hydration is so important for our body, but while our flavored waters are in the fridge absorbing all the yummy flavors that we just put into them, I wanna spend a minute talking about why water and flavored waters are a good alternative to things like juices, sodas, or sweet teas. In this diagram here, you'll see an illustration of the amount of sugar that are in some common drinks that we might enjoy. Water, all the way on the left, has zero teaspoons of added sugar, whereas other drinks like orange juice, sports drinks, soda, sweet tea, or energy drinks all have a lot more sugar in them. For a kid, the recommended daily added sugar limit is about six teaspoons. If you look closely at our soda bottle, there's 15 teaspoons of su added sugar in that one container. That's over twice as much as the daily recommended amount. Now, by making flavored water using natural sugars from berries, we are reducing our sugar intake, which is really important for keeping us healthy. Eating too much sugar can increase your risk of many different types of diseases. Heart disease, diabetes, cancer, depression, and obesity are all things that are linked to high amounts of sugar consumption. By lowering the amount of added sugar in our diet, we lower our risk for these diseases and help keep our bodies healthier. Water with herbs, veggies, and fruits as flavorings are a really healthy, low sugar alternative to some of these other drinks. So now that we know why flavored waters are a good option for us to be, keep our body healthy and hydrated, we gotta wait a few more minutes to let our flavors fully soak into our water. So let's fast forward and get to the good part. All right, so now that our flavored waters have had about an hour to let all the flavors diffuse out of the fruits and herbs and into our water, it's time to finish them up and give them a try. For our strawberry basil spritzer, I'm just gonna add a few pieces of ice that I got out of my freezer to cool it off and make it nice and refreshing. For our second one, our citrus strawberry water, I'm gonna add a garnish of lemon onto the side for a nice little fun touch. So I'm gonna grab my knife, really carefully cut a little slice in the middle so that it can go on the side of my cup. And then I'm gonna set it right there as a fun added touch. The last one, Oh, and I'm also gonna add some ice to the second one to cool it off as well. The last one, our cucumber, cilantro, and lemon. I'm gonna add some ice. And then again, I'm gonna add a little lemon onto the top. So again, gonna grab my knife, gonna very carefully use my bear claw and cut a little line in the middle so that it can sit nice and gently on the side of my cup. And there we have it, our three spritzers that we're ready to try. So it's time for our Green Heart taste test. If you've done Green Heart before, you know that we have two taste test rules. The first is that we wait for everyone to have some to try. Since I'm here alone, I'm just going to take a sip right out of my cup. But if you're making this with a family member or friends, you could pour it into separate cups so everyone gets a little to try. The second rule we follow in a Green Heart taste test is we don't yuck each other's yums. If one of these flavors isn't for you, that's okay. You were brave and tried it, but we don't wanna be rude and make loud comments about how we don't like it because someone else who's trying it might really enjoy it and it wouldn't be respectful. All right, it's time to give it a try. 
The first one I'm gonna try is our strawberry basil spritzer. Three, two, one. Mmm, that is yummy. Again, if you've done Green Heart, you know that we like to rate our taste tests with one being not your favorite, but you were brave and tried it every, anyways, a two being it was okay, but you might change something, and a three being that you really liked it. For me, I definitely am giving our strawberry basil spritzer a three. Next, I'm gonna taste test our summer citrus strawberry water. So, ready? Three, two, one, taste test. Mmm, it's a little bit tart, it's a little bit sweet, really are refreshing for a hot summer day. I'm gonna have to also give this one a three. And last but not least, I have our cucumber, lemon, and cilantro water, which smells delicious. So I'm gonna take a sip in three, two, one. Mmm, also delicious and refreshing. Buddies, these recipes are really, really good. I think I'm gonna have to give every single one of them a three. So now that we've tried all three of our water recipes that we made today, I want us to brainstorm some other potential recipes that we could make. I want you to spend a minute thinking of what fruits, vegetables, or herbs you could put into some water to create a tasty flavored water drink. Did you come up with some fun ones? Some ideas that I had were other types of berries like blueberries or raspberries, pineapple, peaches, watermelon, maybe an herb like mint, we could use lime or maybe even mango. And there's a lot of other fresh produce options that you could also use. So I'm curious to hear what you thought of. Hopefully you can give them a try and let me know how they turn out. Well, buddies, that's all for today's Green Heart at Home lesson. I hope that you stay well and healthy until I see you again. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time on Green Heart at Home. Cheers. Cheers.